How many times have you heard the phrase, we are electric beings? It's true. We have a current running through our bodies and it is essentially the life force of all living organisms. This is something that we have failed to prioritize its importance in education and understanding. We live within a power grid of controlled electrical current, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And as we move forward, we are amping up the electromagnetic chaos. You know, there are things that affect our health that we cannot feel until that thing is no longer present. It is one of the reasons you ultimately feel better getting away from it all. So today I want to discuss the electric being, us. What makes us tick? We have been able to use science to build our bodies, muscles, through exercise and nutrition. We have been able to gain knowledge to fix and heal our bodies as well. We have been able to use certain sciences for many forms of meditation and psychological therapy. We have technologies to fix emotional issues. We even have medicine for the spirit to balance it, bring it into harmony with other human spirits and nature. But what about our electrical systems? What do we have for that besides electromagnetic chaos? How can we regulate, balance, and control the electric being within us? Well, the answers to these questions may very well be surprisingly shocking. So the truth is, folks, we do have the studies. We have the science and tech based on the understanding of human electricity. But with all this knowledge and ability, it seems as though we are lacking in the application of keeping the body healthy with this information. And it's not that many of us don't know this information. It's just that we tend to have a general idea of the concept. And it is not on the level of consideration as it should be. The key to all this is the understanding of electricity and how it works inside and outside of the body. You will begin to understand that you have a few more abilities that they are not telling you about. If I said that movement is energy, that's really not going to help you understand any better. Electricity is something that cannot be created or destroyed, only moved. In other words, we don't really produce electricity, we move electricity. All matter at the atomic level have electrons, protons, neutrons. By itself, an atom is electrically neutral. But it is not the neutrons that make the atom neutral. It is the balance between the number of protons and electrons surrounding the nuclei. In each atom, an electron has the same magnitude of electrical charge as a proton. And this is a constant. So when you have the same number of protons and electrons, the atom is neutrally charged. Protons are positively charged. Electrons are negatively charged. And neutrons have zero charge. If you have two objects that are near each other, and they both have the same positive or negative charge, there is a force that pushes them away from each other. When you have two objects, one positively charged and one negatively charged, when those two objects are near each other, you have attraction. Now, if an atom loses an electron or gains an electron, the balance is thrown off, and now the atom is either positively charged or negatively charged. The atom or group of atoms is no longer neutral. It is electrically charged and is known to be what we call an ion. Positively charged ions are called cations and negatively charged ions are called anions. These are the conductors of electrical current 
and an atom becomes charged as a reaction to ions and or magnetic energy. This causes the movement of electrons and thus you have electricity. Notice nothing is created or destroyed, only moved. Next, if you wanted to generate electricity outside of the body, you would first need a fuel source that comes in the form of coal, gas, hydropower, wind, solar, and nuclear. You also have chemical, biochemical, and magnetic and wireless. It doesn't really matter, you can pedal a bike. All you really want to do is make something spin. And that something is called a turbine, which is basically some magnets wrapped in copper wire. These spin to get the flow of electrons going. Solar fuel can just be converted into electricity by using semiconductors, which is just a combination of a conductor and an insulator. After you generate this power, you can then add a conduction system to use that power for whatever means. In nature, when you have lightning, there are a massive number of particle collisions within a thundercloud. This causes a buildup of electrical energy. The top of the cloud becomes positively charged and the bottom of the cloud becomes negatively charged. The negative charge on the bottom causes the ground underneath it to build up a positive charge. The positive charge on the ground begins to build up around the tallest object closest to the cloud. And because opposites attract in this case, the electrons in the cloud rush toward the object creating a blast of electrical current. The same principle applies when you get a zap of static electricity. Because our bodies have electrical current running through them already, like most biological organisms, if you have too little electrical energy, nothing works. Too much electrical energy and you fry. So let's take a look at how we generate this current and how we use it. As human beings, we require electricity for a number of functions. The nervous system uses this electricity for cellular signaling throughout the body and brain, which is essential for movement, thinking, and feeling. There are elements in our bodies such as magnesium, potassium, calcium, sodium. The ions of these elements are what generates the electron flow. Now the cells in our bodies have cell membranes that are lipids and that create a barrier for the cells. There is often an imbalance between the number of ions inside and outside of the cell. Usually a resting cell has a negative charge and outside of the cell is positively charged. So the cell allows these ions to pass in and out of the cell through ion channels or pores in the membrane, generating electrical current. When ions enter the cell, the cell becomes more positively charged and this creates a chain reaction generating more current and thus readies the cell for what's called action potentials. Like an electrical pulse or signal from the brain for movement or a heartbeat. Any disruption in these currents can cause some serious issues. This is one of the reasons it is important to regularly exercise and put good food into your body. It is important to keep those minerals those nutrients flowing through your body as to maintain the balance of your circuitry. Unlike wires that carry electricity from one point to another, the body uses cells to send this electrical energy from cell to cell until it reaches its destination. This action is almost instantaneous. If at any time a cell is not sending a signal, it is due to being more negatively charged than other cells. Now a cell has a natural resting state where it has a negative charge and it is usually due to an imbalance of potassium and sodium ions. More potassium with negative charge inside the cell and more sodium with a positive charge outside the cell. When the body needs cells to start signaling, such as during a workout, the resting cell opens the gate and allows potassium and sodium to move in and out of the cell and the signaling begins. Now here is what's interesting, and this is where we start to really put things together. Our bodies are essentially liquid crystals. 
And within our bodies, there is what's called a living matrix, which means that every cell in the body, the skin, the muscles, the bones, the internal organs, they're all connected within a matrix, within a matrix, within a matrix. What many people haven't caught on to or haven't yet understood is that we have somewhat of a map of this network that has been around for a very long time and this is the acupuncture meridian system. The skin's connective tissue has meridians running vertically and horizontally, connecting to the surface of the cells, past the cytoskeleton and to the nucleus of the cell. This system touches every part of our bodies and tapping into the meridians is a high-speed transmission. See, our bodies are a continuum of an electric universe. The matrix starts in space and ends in the nuclei of our cells. Everything is connected and moving all at the same time. This is how astrology works. This is how numerology works, quantum physics. We are connected to the earth and the sun, the moon and stars. The originating electron flow comes from the sun into the earth, into our bodies. One of the problems with that is, as I discussed in a previous presentation, most of us do not allow our bodies to become grounded. And for some reason, people think that this is no big deal. Go back and watch the video I did on grounding or earthing, and you will find it is a very big deal. Your body will never reach its optimal healing potential unless you ground yourself, period. I can't emphasize this enough. When you sleep, your body is designed to sleep close to the ground. It is all perfectly designed. During the day you're walking around grounding yourself, then when the sun goes down and your body starts to release melatonin, you get sleepy. You lay close to the ground and once those healing hours kick in, between around 10 p.m. and 2 a.m., the magnetic field of the earth in combination with overnight grounding, you will wake up feeling like a new person. Now that doesn't mean you have to go sleeping in the grass like this chick. Doing this can be relaxing, therapeutic, and fun. But we're talking about sleeping at night, and sleeping outside in the cold at night sucks. And there are animals of all shapes and sizes. This is one of the benefits of using a magnetic sleeping pad and grounding pad for your bed. So what happens when you ground yourself and restore the balance? One of the first things that happens is your sleep improves. You have less pain and less inflammation because of the increase in natural antioxidants, accelerated healing, reduced viscosity in the blood and less clumping of blood cells. Sometimes elevated cortisol is what keeps people up. After grounding, the cortisol level balances out. Think about powerful rapid healing is. A trick to this is, shortly after an injury, grounding yourself will dramatically reduce inflammation and swelling so much so that it may not occur at all. What would take weeks to heal would only take a few days. 15, 20 minutes to an hour is all you need to restore the balance because quite frankly, many of us are simply electron deficient. And the best thing about getting this supply of electrons is grounding is free. On a nice day, just go outside, take your shoes off, and sit in the grass, or take a walk on the beach. If you're on a beach near seawater, the effects are even greater. This is just one more thing that they don't want you to know about, because they want us all sick and on drugs. There's a great book out called, Why Animals Don't Get Heart Attacks. And there are several reasons, and this is one of them. Heart attacks, Alzheimer's, cancer are all connected to us not being grounded. One of the reasons why we age more rapidly than we should is due to oxidative stress from not being grounded. The cells in your body produce free radicals. Whenever you eat something, breathe air, or are injured, your body produces free radicals. The theory is that your mitochondria produce free radicals regularly. But what happens is the mitochondria end up destroying themselves over a period of time. This cellular damage becomes cumulative and thus we age. 
With grounding, those free radicals are almost instantly neutralized when they are produced. I know you've heard that we are crystal beings, yes, but we are liquid crystal beings. In other words, mineral crystals are hard, static, while organic crystals like our bodies are elastic. We can actually move around. And collagen is the triple helix crystalline building block that makes that possible. This is also a semiconductor, which makes our bodies a semiconductor. But it only conducts electricity when water is present. Otherwise, the collagen lattice cannot conduct. Our bodies cannot conduct. Without water, we are nothing but dust anyways. This was nothing more than an introduction of the abilities you possess simply because you are an electric liquid crystal being with consciousness. There are some very incredible things that you can do with this knowledge that I will cover in another presentation. Lots more to come on this, folks. Take some time to gain a better understanding of this. Go get in touch with the Earth. You'll be glad you did. Until next time, let's stay awake, aware, and safe in this electric universe. And I'll talk to you all soon.